I just made a purchase I probably shouldn't have. Definitely shouldn't have. This isn't even the right size for my face, but I wanted to see what it looks like to code inside of the Vision Pro. So uh, $4,500 later, we're going to take a look. Oh boy. Oh boy, indeed. Comes with a free sleeping goggle. Or sleep. Comes with free uh, sleeping face covers. I expected it to be heavier with everybody complaining so much. Let's take a look. All the fun stuff. I know that the battery should be in here. It's still strange it needs that. I think they sealed the box in the store in order to like get the right accessories included. I also think they did a pretty poor job estimating which ones would be the most and least popular. Also, also, there's a ton of us San Francisco type developers that are all an archetype that probably have a similar face shape. So we're all equally screwed. Here is, oh yeah, the dual loop band. So they include a second band that actually goes over the top of your head because it's fancy and nice looking as this one is. It is uh, terrible ergonomically. So they caved and did like the nerdy, more traditional VR type top. Most importantly, we have a random USB-C cable, random USB-C brick, and the battery. I'm honestly going to put the rest back in here because I'm uh, probably going to return this one because it's the wrong size and I'm still waiting for the correct size one to show up. Sorry, Apple. They said I could do this. He just sent me review units. And then you probably make me stop all my other Apple videos. So, yeah. I could look at the instructions, but I have a, a long-standing record of never looking at the instructions on new Apple purchases. And I don't plan to break that just because I have to put this on my head. So, Apple's all about their overpackaging, but this is a little absurd. The amount of things for reasonable reasons, but still a lot. It's going to be real careful not holding by the band because that comes off so, so easily. It's not showing me anything on the front. Do I have to go in? Yolo? Oh, yeah, that's the wrong size for sure. Made a sound. What to do now? Come on, Apple. Press and hold to align. Okay. I think we're doing things now. I just realized that Face ID is not going to work on your phone when you have this on. That's a funny problem. That's cool. It pulls up a code on your phone and then it uses its built-in cameras to scan it. This headband is absolutely terrible and I need to switch like ASAP. The sound's actually surprisingly good. So look at your hands to set up. Ignore these gross palms. If you're looking around when it's not stable on my face is the worst. Eh, it's pretty accurate with the eye tracking actually. They test it at three different levels of brightness when you calibrate it, which is calibrated based on your eyes. Very interesting that the, the level of brightness in the headset affects how it tracks your eyes enough that they feel the need to do that. Oh, God, I keep adjusting it around your head is a little annoying. I need to get that other band on ASAP. Okay, the moving of windows is actually really cool. Oh. Huh. That's... One of the best implementations of that I've ever seen. It's a little pulley. It's a tiny little piece of metal. Yeah, that is much better than I would have expected. I have a band that sucks much less. Let me get the band going first, Apple. You'd think they would know that you're adjusting this, but okay, that's 100 times better already. Still could use a little refinement, but I can work with this. That, okay, I should have set up initially because the setup for that was literally you just look forward. And now optic ID is done. That was dumb of me to not do initially. Yeah, for photos, this is incredible, actually. I can't decide if my microphone should be in front or behind this, which is interesting. Look at old skate clips now. I should have set this up to screen record so y'all can see what I'm looking at. But uh, one thing at a time, we're still getting started here. I will say when I, it still feels like it's relying a little too much on my eyebrows for support. I probably need to tighten more. It's not great, but like I can mostly read text on my MacBook screen as is. Let's set up a decent developer workflow here. Wish there was a way I could like pull out certain windows. It's my first thing. It's like, I want this terminal just here by itself really badly. I get why I can't, but it'd be really nice if I could. We're going to uh, also my font size. Like I, I, I actually do like using a bigger font. I don't know if that's because I'm like so content brain that I do that all the time. Interesting. They don't have a scale up. By default, it's 1440p. I would have thought they would have had a, a bigger text option. I guess the bigger text option is you literally just make the window bigger. But now I have to like look around more. That is a lot of screen real estate. It's like here. <laughs> it's the equivalent of a monitor that large. The key light's definitely interfering a decent bit, though. So instead, I'll just pull this here. CD. I did not say Siri, do not allow. 
No, shush Siri, close. New content, uh, Bunx, create T3 app at latest. Resolving, we'll call this a Vision Pro demo. I'm really curious how much the foveated rendering comes up in the recording. I've heard it does when you do the recording on here, but not as much when you do the recording through the cable when you have the um, or the developer band, which I have to buy, actually. So I'll do that after this. Look at that. We got some code. Here's our page. Not doing anything right now. We will fix that. Uh, bun run db push to get the database up to date. And now const data equals await db dot query. Cool. This is just a basic thing that will list out all the posts. We actually need posts, though. So I'll tmux my way around, save. And would you look at that? Hello from Vision Pro. And what's cool here is I have a decent bit more screen real estate than I'm used to working with. For context, I actually usually work with my laptop on my lap, often just on the couch. I don't love that. I feel like I'm going to have to increase my font size whenever I open this. I also feel like there's a lot of like random UI when I just look around that moves based on what I'm looking at, which is a little jarring. Like this corner thing keeps coming up. The thing in the bottom keeps coming up. But it works. I still really want the ability to pull things out. Like I really want virtual displays, but I would settle for the ability to, for web stuff, pull up the thing I'm working on here. I'm going to see if I can pull that off, actually. Uh, let me, so that is my laptop's IP address. And now I can see my app as I work on it. So if I change this and I add some new text, we'll do div class name equals bold text 2xlp8. Hello, Vision Pro. I'm going to delete this. I don't need it right now. Or comment it out. And I'm saving right now. OK, that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool. It's sad that I don't have any way to get to like dev tools there. But if I need them, I can just command tab here and have them. Yeah, I think this is the cracked way to do web dev on here right now. Right, you have my whole editor. I can even pull up my terminal. I want those both like in here. And then when I actually want to see what I'm working on, I can pull that up in, in App Safari. I do wish I could have multiple monitors still. And I, I get why they didn't do that, because it's like a huge ergonomic thing to get right. But I feel like I'm doing a hack when I open up Safari for this. I think I need to play with this a lot more, ideally in an environment that doesn't have two bright key lights on my side. Yeah, I should film myself doing the stupid persona things. Right now, you can't see my eyes at all. Oh, that persona is going to have my screwed up hair. Align your entire face within the frame. That's so loud. Slow down and try again. Keep your face in a neutral expression. Keep your face in a neutral expression. Slowly turn your head to the right. Now slowly turn your head to the left. Now tilt your head up. Then tilt your head down. Next, let's capture your facial expressions. Smile with your mouth closed. Put Vision Pro back on to continue. Are you guys scared? Because I'm scared. And now we shall see me. Oh, God. Oh, God. What has it done to me? I feel like it made my teeth too short. Yeah, we'll, we'll go with it. It got the shirt almost perfectly. That's the weirdest part. It got what I'm wearing good. And it robbed me on my face. I like the temperature and brightness were good because it's like in my studio. How are normal people going to know what those things are? The glasses actually look kind of cool. I have a persona, which means you guys should be able to see eyes now. One interesting thing I'm thinking of now is that this is going to help posture a lot. It's at the right spot now, and it wasn't before. I want to go play with this more in like a more traditional work environment so I can give a more thorough review. Peace for now.